So I found this 24 karat gold leaf kit on Amazon and I wanted to use it to upcycle um, something that I had found inside of Home Goods. So this gold leaf was the perfect color for what I wanted to upcycle and I'm going to be upcycling this genuine um, quartz stone clock. So I'm going to be using some metal leaf adhesive and how you use this is you apply the adhesive to where you want to place the gold leaf. You make sure it's nice and wet. Then you let it air dry a little bit before you apply the gold leaf. And then just like as it's tacky, you apply the gold leaf on top. So here I am covering the um, surface of the edge with the metal leaf adhesive with a soft applicator. Um, just make sure that after you're done using the applicator and in between uses, you're rinsing it because it does harden pretty fast. But anyway, going into using the um, gold leaf, you add the gold leaf to the places where you added the metal leaf adhesive. And once you get it on, it should be tacky and you add, you just pat it down with the um, the brush. So as you pat it down, don't pat down too hard. You just want to make sure that um, the sticky surface is covered completely with the gold leaf. And you can let it sit there for a while before you start brushing it off. This is sped up. So once you start brushing it, it should actually adhere to whatever surface you added the, the um, adhesive to. And it should start to get really shiny. So it should go from a dull to a shiny and you cleaning up the edges and everything you just brush so this is what it looks like with the adhesive on just part of it and i'm going to continue with the rest of the surface So I do want to mention that sometimes you won't get the entire area covered. So what you want to do is you just want to leave that spot alone, let it dry completely, and then maybe come at it mm, a few hours later. But you just want to make sure that you're not adding more adhesive over top of something that's not completely done drying because then it'll get really sticky and gooey and it'll start peeling like rubbed glue. So just leave it alone for a bit and then add more of the adhesive later to reapply the gold leaf. But for now, um, I'm continuing on with the spaces that I did not go over yet. And um, remember to let it dry a little bit before adding the gold leaf. And then you pat it down with the brush. And then once it dries after a few minutes, you start to you know, swipe at it and brush it away. So I'm really liking how this is coming along and I am deciding that I want to just add a another little feature to it to make this genuine quartz stone clock pop just even more. So I am going to go along the edges with a hot glue gun to give it just a, a halo of gold and give it some raised texture. Um, I feel like this will really help it bring together and give it more crisp lines when it comes to where the gold leaf stops on this clock. So yeah, um, when you add the hot glue, just go in small sections because as the glue dries and as it cools, the, the um, gold leaf won't stick to it. So just make sure it's still a little bit warm when you add your gold leaf over top of the hot glue and it'll stick just fine. So 
Also, as you're patting the gold leaf over the hot glue lines, make sure you're sort of shoveling the gold leaf into the creases so that way all of the hot glue line is actually covered. This will give it a seamless finish and make it look like it's really tucked up in there. Um, it looks really clean and it's a nice finish to an edge. So here is the genuine quartz stone clock completed with the upgraded 24 karat gold gilded edges and the nice little halo outline I did with the hot glue.